YouTube racing tipsters. We've done a few of these folks. So it's mainly for the people that look on YouTube and that are looking uh, at getting help to have a bet. Um, I've warned against two or three people on there in the past and I've recommended two or three people. They probably, in all honesty, is only one I would recommend now and he's not having the greatest of runs, but he won't charge you a penny. It'll cost you nothing. You'll have loads of fun with him. He's dead genuine. And ultimately, if you did everything that he chose, you would win money. But it'd take a reasonable amount of your time. But you will, I mean, to put on each bet daily because he does lots of bets. But you will win money. I'm telling you that now. There's nothing in it for me. He's not a friend. He's not nothing. But I followed him. I followed all the others. Um, I don't bet with them, but I see what they do. Um, and there's mainly a couple of people on there still. I'd just like to know from, from uh, listeners, how many people have actually won or lost money with the guy that was on there called Carl Betts who hasn't shown his face for a while but will be on there again Neil Maurice who only charges £99 per half term and Peter Sandrovich I'd love to know and the reason for this latest video today is I just flicked through the racing tips was only the other day and I seen something come on again about Neil Maurice I mean the handicap king he was given another even money shot in an eight, eight runner race that wasn't handicapped he went for an even money shot uh, and it got beat by the way but it doesn't matter whether it wins or loses if you're betting them kind of prices on a daily basis you're only going to lose money he keeps raving about how oh, all his supporters how his followers that actually paid the £99 per half term or per half year should I say are winning money and how many winners have had this day and that day and the other day he never mentions how many tips he's given them he never mentions the losers he only mentions the winning tips or the winning prices um, He's like the other fellas, they have the comment section turned off. So that means if I'm betting his horses and constantly losing, I can't warn other people off or tell people don't bet with him because all for all it looks great on the outside, you don't ultimately win money. Um, and until he turns the comment section on, I've no faith in him at all. Um, he seems a decent guy and a reasonably genuine guy and reasonably to an extent well informed compared to most. But as I say, until that comment section gets turned on, and we actually know what people are winning or losing with him, um, I wouldn't recommend anybody go anywhere near him. You know, he flies all over the world. He goes to Hong Kong, he goes to Qatar, he goes to France, Ireland, following horses. On your money, ladies and gents, you know, you're paying him £99 per half year. He's travelling on your money. And as I say, with that comment section turned off, you don't know what anybody's winning or losing. But the reason for this, this quick video really is the other fella, Sandrovich, I seen one of his videos the other day. It's the first one I've seen in about six weeks. He actually started off by saying, I've not been on here for a long time on the YouTube. Well, he calls it YouTube. He doesn't know how to pronounce tube, YouTube. I've not been on my YouTube site. He said, I've not been on it for a long time. He said, but I've come on today. The reason I've come on, these aren't my tips, by the way. These are not my tips. These are a really, really young up and coming tipster who I believe is absolutely brilliant. He's been put onto me by somebody else. And he wants me to help him out. He's looking at coming online and using my YouTube channel because I've got lots of followers on my YouTube channel. He wants to come on here and give tips that I'll pass on to people on his behalf to try and gain some traction. I've never done this before, he said. You know me, folks, he said. I've been on YouTube for years now, he said. I, I only come on now and again, he said. But nobody's given more winners than me in Great Britain than me. Nobody. No more no more winners in Ireland than me. None with bigger prices. You know me now. You know you know what I'm all about. Well, he's that good a tipster. He's that good. He, he does three, four, five, six weeks at a time. Rakes in a lot of money on people subscribing. People realise it's a con and they're losing money. So they bail out in droves. So he goes off for six weeks. Comes back on six weeks later and hopes to get a new gaggle of people joining that don't know how bad his tips normally go. Um, and now he's resorting to putting somebody else's tips on his own website. Now, if he's that good a tips done, that brilliant, why on earth would he put somebody else's tips on his website? Why on earth, when he's had more winners than anyone else in great British races and Irish races, why on earth would he put anybody else's tips on his website? He's crazy. Honestly, folks, if you're looking at betting online from YouTube, look at them all. Look at one and all. I've recommended three in the past. I've recommended Connor 500, who's a nice enough fella, but his win ratio is really, really, really poor. He, he calls himself a professional gambler. He shouldn't do. Really, Connor, you shouldn't do. I mean, professional gamblers, I mean, you're more a professional loser at the moment, and I've been probably for about 18 months overall. 
you know, a professional gambler couldn't sleep nights if he was betting with your record lately. Another fellow's called the Glorious Uncertainty who's been ill lately and coming back now, and, and he's okay, but you're never going to win a lot, but you may win something with him. The best of the lot's flat cap column. If you look at him, uh, ladies and gents, you'll win money. It's a long-term thing. You'd have to bet his horses for sort of six or 12 months, and you do, he does lots of bets a day, so it takes you a fair bit of time to put them all on, all to small stakes, but you will win money. It's, he's ideal for people that haven't really bet before and want to get interested in it, and he's ideal for, I would suggest, older people like yourself, but older retired people who want to fill in the days and fill in the time, because you'll have lots of horses every day throughout lots of meetings, and if you've got these racing channels, you can watch racing virtually every day and have an arse in almost every race. Um, but he's worth looking at. I would point anybody to him. As I say, he's got no agenda. He doesn't charge any money. All his tips are free and they're nearly all pretty big prices. So if you get anything coming for you, you you're going to win decent off it. You will have losing runs. You'll have sometimes long losing runs. But overall, because of the prices he bets at, you will win money. I'm pretty certain of that. And that's basically it. But if you've bet with this Sandrovich fella or Neil Maurice or Carl Betts or any of those, just drop me a line. Just just let me know what you have or haven't won with them. I'm on about the people that have actually paid money to join their syndicates. I'd love to know. I'd love to see it in the comments. And it, it'll be a bit of um, great information to other people that, that watch this video that can look in the comments and, and see that I'm writing what I'm saying, that people generally aren't winning money with these people. But as I say, they all have their own comment section turned off, which tells me people aren't winning money with them. If, you're, if you've got your comment section turned off, then you've definitely, definitely got something to hide. Anyway, it was a ramble, I know it was, but I care about people being fleeced, and I don't want people going on these sides and having money took off them, you know, because it sounds all singing, all dancing, and all fantastic, but I think the reality is it's very, very far from that. Anyway, let me know what you think.